All right, I just swapped out my uh, first gen Licity battery box with this new gen battery box. Got it all plugged in. Got my uh, the yellow uh, Anderson plug there. That's plugged into my solar right there. And then the uh, the gray one is plugged into my uh, DC fuse box. And then I've got my power right there. So now what I want to do is I need to take this plate off and uh, drill a hole that goes through so I can attach this to my ground rod. I got a ground rod that I want to put into the ground. and So uh, that's what I'm going to be working on today. So let me get to it. Hopefully that made it all the way through. Let's go check that out. Yep. Came through right there. So that's where I need to put my my ground rod. I'm hoping I can get this all the way down without uh, hitting granite. All right, that wasn't too bad. Got it all the way in. Got lucky I didn't hit any granite. So I need to feed my wire through and uh, get it all connected up. Got a whole flock of turkeys out here. So there's a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Big old Tom over there. Yep, they see me and they're not concerned. It's pretty cool. I had uh, seven deer out here this morning. But I didn't have the camera with me.
All right, got that ground rod in. Now it's tied into my electrical system. And it's a ground rod that's meant for uh, generators. So I wanted to have uh, my uh, solar generator grounded. So now it is. I don't know if that's needed, but uh, I wanted to do it anyway, just to keep those from flopping around. I might add one more right there. Okay, before I put the uh, ground rod in, when I would plug something into these plugs, I'd get a little spark. But uh, no spark now. So that was exactly what I needed.